guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we are going to do an acrylic pour on a vase using uh, one of my favorite color combinations, and that is peacock colors. I'm gonna start off with some white, and instead of gold though, I am gonna use copper. I think it'll look really good with this color combination. I think you can kind of use either gold or copper, totally up to you. These are all mixed media girl pouring paints. They're ready to go right out of the bottle. This one is primary blue. And I'm gonna add a little bit of turquoise in here with that. And I'm just gonna be layering white in between. I don't want this to be a dark painting. I'm gonna be using some dark colors. So this one is Everglade Green. And then I'm going to use a little bit of royal purple. So I'm going to continue to layer these until I have filled up my cup. Okay, my cup is pretty full. Now I do have this on a 14 by 14 inch canvas and just to explain my setup, I didn't really do any other prep other than cleaning the vase with some isopropyl alcohol. And I have it sitting up here on a 16 ounce cup so that I can safely move it off of the canvas when I am done. Now this cup is only eight ounces and I need about 12 ounces for this vase. So I'm actually gonna start off with a little bit of paint right on the vase. This is the primary blue and that will kind of get us started. To be perfectly honest, this doesn't have quite as much white as I wanted. So I'm just hoping it doesn't come out too dark, but it's pretty hard to go wrong with these colors. So I think it's gonna be gorgeous. And I like to pour this in kind of a bit of a tree ring on the top, but you can pour however you would like. Okay, so I think our vase will come out nice and light because I had that white at the beginning. Let's let this sit here and drip for probably about five minutes or so. Okay, so this has mostly stopped dripping and I think this is just gorgeous. I think we have just the right amount of white on here I'm really excited. All right, so I'm going to carefully remove the vase, and I do that by picking up this cup underneath. Don't worry too much if you kind of touch the uh, lip of the vase here a little bit. It's going to continue dripping, so it won't really matter, honestly. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I like to let that circle fill in or at least mostly fill in and then we're going to tilt. Now if you do have a cake spinner this is a great technique to do on a cake spinner but I actually really like how it looks when you tilt it. So when tilting you want to not go too far in any one direction to begin with. Just move it around a bit until you get your canvas covered then you can start to run it off of the edges. Um, if you run it off the edges to begin with, you can easily run out of paint pretty quickly. And of course, just tilt whichever way seems best to you. Keep the colors on there that you want as much as possible. Run others off. Like over here, I had a little bit too much blue for my liking, so I just ran some of that off, which now I am pretty happy with. So we're not tilting just to get the canvas covered. It's kind of the two reasons here. And I'm gonna bring this back a little bit this way. There we go. I think that is gorgeous. So for this, because the vase is gonna keep dripping and moving, I'm actually going to let these sit until tomorrow, and then I will bring you guys in for the close-up. All right, so here is the canvas completely dry. 
Look how gorgeous this is. We've got some amazing lacing over here. Super beautiful. All right, and then here is our vase. I think this is gonna look amazing with resin on it. Definitely peacock colored here. Got a little more blended than I would have wanted, but still really, really beautiful. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.